I am so excited. I am waiting here at the end of the field. Um, it's been a couple weeks now since the accident and I have finally convinced my dad that I'm good um, to get back in the cart. Um, I don't have to use my left foot at all. Um, I should be able to not have to use the brakes and just use my right foot, which is good um, for the clutch. So fingers crossed this goes well. And if not, I guess I can get in the combine, but um, I really miss running the cart. Um, and we've had great help uh, the past couple weeks, but I'm just ready to get back out there and yeah, be in the field again. So, so excited.
okay. So, yeah, I got bit by a bug there or something. I don't know. Um, since I can't use like both the brake and the clutch with my right foot, um, we're moving fields and my dad is moving the cart for me down there. Um, safety reasons, like just in case, you know, there's someone on the road, I wouldn't be able to, to brake, which is necessary on the road and the field is fine. So I'm just taking the service truck back down there. pretty good with the one leg um, so far but I think that we've decided that at least for the next couple of weeks in corn uh, maybe to have someone else run it for like the first half of the day um, and then I can run it just it doesn't necessarily hurt dang that's pretty good so he just came across the radio and said that this corn is testing 16% right out of the field, which is wonderful. Um, so it'll go straight to the elevator as well. But like I said, the flute doesn't necessarily hurt her, but I think that a full day of it every day would just be too much um, with the vibration and stuff. Cause like, it's pretty, pretty well cushioned, but just gonna play it on the safe side. Um, I really don't want enough to have surgery, so which that was still always on the table, still. So, praying I don't have to. So, my dad had to go back and help Jeff uh, get something going on the dryer, and then he brought me back a couple of pillows so I could keep that propped up and I'm just a little bit more stable. So that's definitely helped. That being said, I'm still very much looking forward to it. Well, I'm so happy I've been in the car today. Very much looking forward to going home and going to bed. And um, dad's already called the neighbor. So I should just be working when corn anyway. Beans I'll be fine because it's not quite, it's a lot smoother, but in corn, should be okay to just work half days most of the time for at least the next week or two. So overall, it's been a pretty good day so far. Okay, so my dad is finishing up that pass, but I am out here parked like literally on the road um obviously i learned when i was walking to the tractor this morning even though it was like right close um that i definitely cannot walk across the cornfield so my dad was like just park it by the truck um because i'm driving that and my dad's driving like the semi in um so that way i don't have as far to go chances of me falling are still there <laughs> Cause I'm clumsy, but it should be good. And I'm very grateful for my dad because it's gotta like park the combine back there, walk up, move this tractor, park it back um, off the road, and then walk to the truck. So it's a lot of extra work for him when it's like 10 past 10 o'clock and we're all just, the guys have gone home and dad and I are both just ready to go to bed. So yeah. Time to clear out all of my stuff. So dad's done. He's just getting ready to move that cart back. And I'm headed in. I made it in. All I have left to do um, is to go ahead and put fuel in the service truck for the combine in the morning. So once I do that, I am good to head home. Um, if you have made it this far in this video, thank you so much for watching along. It has been such a good day. Um, looking forward to working half a day. I was in the cart for 10, 11 hours today. Um, 
which was good, but um, definitely too much right off the bat um, from going from nothing for the last two weeks to that. So <sighs> overall though, this I may have had a better day today than I did like the very first day of harvest. Just yeah, not being able to be in the cart for the last two weeks. So feeling very grateful and very blessed, that's for sure.